Fresh asparagus baked with a rich, creamy, garlic, cheesy sauce. A great side dish for any meal. I'm Tess, and welcome to my channel. I'm starting by making the creamy white sauce. In my pan on medium heat, I have three tablespoons of butter, half a cup of very finely diced onions, and two cloves of minced garlic. Cooking and stirring for a minute, and then I'm adding in two and a half tablespoons of flour. Cooking and stirring for a couple minutes until the flour is absorbed and just starts to change color. You want to cook out that raw flour taste. I have a total of two cups of whole milk, and I'm adding in one cup at a time. Adding the first cup and whisking until the flour lumps break down and the sauce starts to form and thicken. This will only take a minute or two. Adding the second cup of milk and doing the same. Keep whisking. You want a smooth sauce. Once the sauce is thick, remove the pan from the heat. This is a quarter teaspoon of white pepper half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and half a cup of sharp white cheddar cheese, giving that a stir until the cheese is all melted. I didn't add any salt because the cheese will have plenty for us, but you can add to your taste. Also, if you want a little heat, you could add some cayenne pepper. The sauce will be thick, and that is because we want it to lay nicely on top of the asparagus. For the asparagus, I have two bundles, or about two pounds, that I cleaned well and trimmed off the bottoms to fit my baking dish. One bundle lays flat on the bottom of the pan, and the other bundle will face opposite on top. You want the tips of the asparagus to show on either side of the dish. At this point, you can season the asparagus with a pinch of salt and pepper if you wish. Topping the asparagus with that wonderful cheesy white sauce we just made. Pour the sauce over the middle, leaving the asparagus tips exposed. The casserole is going into a preheated 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm making the cracker crumble topping. I have about a half a cup of Ritz crackers or butter crackers that I processed in my food processor. Adding in one tablespoon of melted butter and giving that a stir to incorporate. And this is a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, giving that another good toss. This will add another layer of richness, color, and texture to the asparagus casserole. It's been 15 minutes, and I'm adding the cracker topping evenly over the top. Baking for another 10 to 15 minutes, or until the asparagus is to your desired tenderness. I put the casserole under a low broiler for about 30 seconds to slightly brown. Keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn. And this is the asparagus casserole, serving tonight with some of my baked barbecue chicken. This is a great side dish you can serve with any meal. A yummy, delicious, creamy, cheesy garlic white sauce that takes the asparagus over the top. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen, and I hope you give this recipe a try. And enjoy! If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love.